Hello and welcome to GoGo Go Skateboarding, the YouTube channel where we go go skateboarding. And today I want to talk about my favorite ever skate shoes. These are the best skate shoes that ever existed, which is why Vans have decided to discontinue them. So these are the Vans Kyle Walker 2s, and I've only made a handful of shoe reviews. I did, made a joke review about DC Infinites, which I never actually uploaded the punchline. The punchline was that I covered the DC Infinites as so much shoe goo, they should theoretically last for all eternity. But that's not what we're talking about today. These are the Kyle Walker Pro 2s. These are the best shoes that have ever been made for a lot of reasons. Skate shoes, not just shoes, but shoes in general. I could see myself wearing these. The only bad thing that I found with these shoes was that it rubbed my heel an awful lot when I first got them. But other than that, like, you kind of expect that with new shoes sometimes. Most new shoes do that. They take some time to break in. Um, but let me just talk about why these shoes are so great. As you can see here, we've started to get our first hole, which sucks because I love these shoes so, so much. They were so, so durable. And uh, let me just talk about the main features. But this is where my shoe is getting to, to the point where I'm now reviewing them. I normally do it at the start of the shoes and then tr do another one later. But I think it makes more sense to actually review the shoes that I like when I find them. So this one's my switch foot, not perfect. But here's the thing, it's got this awesome thing here, this pattern in the bottom, which allows you to flex in all sorts of ways. You could feel your board with this, right? Your, uh, what's this called? The sole or whatever has this extra bit of padding here. So if there's a stitch under there, it's vulcanized, I think is the word for it. If there's a stitch or whatever, you're not gonna get it. Um, there is a stitch up here, which you will never touch skateboarding, uh, as evidenced by this shoe. That stitch has not broken and made the shoe explode here i've actually rubbed the stitch away but it hasn't made the shoe fall apart which is amazing imagine that as a concept also because it's a slip-on you could just put it on your foot and it feels great and if it's too loose guess what we've got this velcro strap this is what skateboarding needs the velcro strap you can tighten it so if you've got a slip on and it goes like like they often do you could just grab the velcro strap and tighten it back down and look it's like brand new that, where is this? On the other skateboards, on the other skateboarding shoes, where is this part? Where is it? Because the laces don't work for skateboarding. The laces just break and break and break and break. And then when you do that thing where you're like, oh, new technology, I put my laces higher. You put the stitch down here so that when you do one kickflip, you break that stitch and the whole shoe falls apart. Why are you doing this? Oh, I know, because it's bad business to make a product that works right, which is probably why Vans is discontinuing these shoes. They have this amazing ankle protection here, which like holds it onto your foot. This little ankle thing, you know, not a foreign concept, but the fact that it's there is amazing. Uh, the shoe feels brilliant. This is nice and sticky out, but it's not in the way. It makes you feel nice and protected. Uh, and most of the time where you would get injured from the board slamming into your ankle, this does actually deviate a lot of that. Knocks it away. The insoles, Vans Pop Cush, they are amazing. They're very, very, very nice. You could feel an off board without actually having to sacrifice any shoe. And yeah, they're made of this amazing material. I think it's suede. Uh, they kickflip great, they, they flip great, they feel great, they never feel bad. Like, and it takes so long to wear this down. So whenever I've had a good shoe, usually what happens is I'll wear this down before I rip this. But what I noticed is I actually ripped this first, even though what would normally happen is that this would completely go. So the flick feels great. The shoe feels amazing. Even now that it's got holes in and it's exploded like that, like you can see it's exploded like that, this Velcro strap takes those parts and tightens them up. What a concept. Is it not cheaper to manufacture Velcro? I mean, I, I know Velcro is a trademark, right? But there's other stuff out there that you can use without having to get the Velcro trademark, which is probably why um, they're discontinuing the shoe. But stop with the laces. Like, other companies aren't trying this. There are new shoes, the Globe Motley 2s. I've just picked a pair of these up and they're like this. And I've wore them once. I haven't skated in them yet because I'm still using these shoes but they're like rock solid. They're nowhere near as comfortable and I've literally just put them on one time. So I'm not looking forward to going out and skating them, <laughs> in them because they feel like I'm wearing rocks. These feel like clouds. 
they're so comfortable. This portion here, like when you're not used to it, it feels a bit weird, but like once you get used to it, you're like, oh my, it feels like your foot is being hugged. You know when you put on a pair of shoes and they feel like they're flopping about? This kind of mitigates that, so that should be there. This Velcro, big massive Velcro strap is perfect for skateboarding. It just makes sense. Slip-ons blow out, get the Velcro, slip-ons don't blow out anymore. What? And all the other companies are going, oh, let's just ignore that. Every skaters love laces. We hate laces. People who go out and wear skate shoes but don't skate, they love laces. Well, I hate going out and doing one kickflip and then having to buy a new pair of shoes basically because the laces are screwed. Or having to spend $2.99 on an individual pair of shoelaces because you can't get them cheap around here. These shoes are within an inch of their life and they still fit. Fine. I could skate these for way longer if I get the glue gun out, but like I don't want to do that <laughs> But I'm thinking I'm going to because these A-holes at Vans apparently aren't going to make any more of these shoes, which makes me very angry, so <laughs> Please make more of these or if you're a competing company and you want a space in the skate shoe community And you just keep making the same old Nike ripoff or whatever stop doing that make a velcro shoe with suede and watches I buy all of your stock. There's no competition in the Velcro market and it's really bothering me. I just wish that there were more Velcro options in skate shoes because they literally take what's bad about slip-ons and fix it. And slip-ons are the best. The only problem with the slip-ons is they blow out. And this, like I said, <laughs> solves that problem so well. These shoes are amazing. I would... L I would have bought hundreds of pairs of them. The thing is, I didn't have the money to buy multiple pairs, but because you put them out and then we're like, oh wait, we're gonna discontinue these shoes. You sold them for like 20 quid. And I bought up one pair and then like three, I broke my leg. Three months later, I bought one more pair when my leg was a little better. And now that like I'm better, I can no longer buy these shoes. It feels like a massive kick in the teeth. It's like they've gone, wait a minute, we've made a product that works too well. We can't sell this. <laughs> And that really annoys me. So if you can get your hands on these Kyle Walker Pro 2s, not the Kyle Walkers they're trying to sell you now with the laces. No laces. No more laces. We don't skate with laces. We don't skate with laces. Because if we skate with laces, then we have to buy new shoes every day. And it's stupid. Or we have to put new laces on. And it's like, I don't want to have to go out every session and put new laces on every session. That seems like a waste. Like, not only am I destroying my shoe, but then I have to buy hundreds of laces. I, I don't want to spend that much money just to go out and literally do a kickflip. That's the only trick that does that. So, well, that varial flip, double flip, whatever. But still, Kyle Walker Pro 2s are amazing. I hate you vans for stopping the Kyle Walker Pro 2s. If they come back, but you try and sell them for something ridiculous, like Niger Nike prices, I will personally find the man Van Doren and shove a velcro strap down his throat. I won't actually do that. <laughs> I just like the visual. But yeah, if you're not Vans and you're not Globe, please, for the love of God, try the velcro thing because I really, 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 really want to see more competition. I want to innovate. I want to see people innovate in this area. If I was rich, I would open a shoe company and I would do this. This is what I would do. I like literally just this. I would make skate shoes with velcro and then i would just that's all i would offer i would make like 50 different shoes and they're all velcro and people would be like wow that's stupid and i'd be like no they're not because my velcro strap actually protects my foot it stops my slip-ons from being destroyed and they're just better than laces Meanwhile, watch these companies are going to be like, oh yeah, we'll try the Velcro, and then they do the thinnest, narrowest, like 70 straps of Velcro, so it's as close to laces as possible, so that they snap, so that you have to buy new shoes. You know when they say, bad business is good business, that's why they don't want you having a good product. But that's my thoughts on the Kyle Walker Pro 2. Also, any of this stuff that's like my opinion is my opinion and might not necessarily be based in fact. Um, what I think about the shoes is based in fact, but what I think about Vans and why they're doing what they're doing by not continuing these shoes, I have no actual idea. I don't work at Vans, I'm just a guy who likes skate shoes, okay? So don't go, or, or you can go in the comments and tell me where I'm wrong. Tell me where I'm wrong in all the comments, because if you do that, you'll get more people watching this video. And then I can get more people telling me I'm wrong, and then maybe with enough visibility, Vans will see this video and go, wait a second, we should make those shoes because it's not gonna hurt us to, to keep making them, right? But no, we've gotta get rid of the pro model. Skateboarding is on its way out. So am I, go go 